Hey what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am showing you 6 tips you may need to survive in the sons of the forest. Now the first tip I would like to show you today is the backpack system. Now if you open the backpack by pressing I on the PC, that it is completely different. You can look around it, it's a lot more expansive than what it used to be. Everyone, everything is in a different place. Thank you, my cancer. Now, in the original forest, you used to be able to press 1, 2, 3, and even 4 to be able to switch through 4 separate items that you could keybind through the backpack. Now, this is different in this system because once you add this, you can't actually combine anything to it. However, you can see there's certain items that are greyed out. These items cannot be added to the backpack. What I mean by that is you see these items on the backpack here. They are items you can equip by holding I. If I hold I, it pulls out the backpack. And this allows for easy access to things that you've got on your backpack, such as snacks, or I, say if I wanted to use a spear to go deer hunting. Not there's any deer nearby anymore. You can put almost anything on there. See, I have a club here, so if I was to add the backpack in, and if I removed this, and added the club, I could now choose the club. If I hold I, the club is right there. The second tip I would like to show you all today is very easy to know, easy to figure out yourself, so start to share it anyway. So Kelvin is a guy you meet at the start of the game after the helicopter crash. Spoilers. Um, you could you save him, and he is deaf. Um, but you can still give him instructions. By on PC you hold E, and it gives you a list of options you can tell him to do. You can tell him to follow you, get stuff for you, build, stay, take a break, or clear the area, as well as take an item. If you tell him to follow you, so it explains itself. If you use the get option, you can tell him to get you sticks, logs, rocks. Now, this is easy to figure out for yourself, however, if I just tell him to follow me, and we go down to this lake over here, now what you can do, when you get closer to say a water source, or plants, or berries, or anything like that, you can ask Kevin to get you a food source. Now, because I'm near a pond, or well, near a stream, you can tell him to give him give you fish, and you can tell him to drop it where you are, to follow you with it, or to give it to him. Now, if I press give it to me, you look at it and acknowledge it. You give it a little smile, and then you'll be on his business. Let's watch him in action, shall we? Notice how now Kevin has given me a fish. And he may also go for another, which he is. He will typically get you at least two, unless you, are, you tell him otherwise. Notice how he has a fish. If I go near him, he will give me it. Now notice that this is an easy source of food. Easy enough for uh, anyone to get themselves food if they're struggling to find animals. Huh. And here's another cool fact. You can befriend this woman. Right. Who's dancing right there? You just don't attack her. Don't attack her if you see her. That is the worst thing you want to do because you want all the friends you can get. And also, don't kill Kelvin because if he dies, he's dead forever. Now the third tip I'm going to show you is cutting logs into little chunks. First, we need a tree. To be fallen, we take a log. Now you do not want to place it using left click. You preferably would like to throw it, pressing G. Make sure it's at a secure level. And then look for the red dotted lines. 
these indicate an area that can be cut through an animation without structure damage being on. Now if you notice, this has been cut into a smaller chunk of the rock. And not only can we do that, we can actually cut it in half as well. So as long as you get the red dotted line across the middle, you can cut it in half. And the same applies to the bigger pieces too. This allows you to make somewhat sustainable housing. As you can see, we have a flat roof using these half cut logs, as well as a pre-made shelter. Um, but we decided to build our own as well, because originally we thought the tap would work in here, but it actually does not. My apologies, I have gone onto my roof again they keep getting bombarded by cannibals. Just trying to goddamn record. So yeah, as you can see, flat floor and well, flat roofing, and inside there's also flat floor and looks the exact same as this. And I will show you this now. You can see it right here. The same can be said for the for this door. This door was created manually. And speaking of manual building, you are now in this game able to create your own blueprints. So what you're able to do, is if I go back over to these logs, you are able, as you can see here, manually build your own fortress, as you could call it. You can build your own walls. You hold C to pick the logs back up. And as you can see, this shelter was, man uh, was automatically built by a, by a blueprint in the game already, whereas these walls around here, including the roof and the floors and the structures on the outside, a manual. So for example, I could place one log here and one log here. And now if you didn't like that, you could hold C to pick them back up if you don't like the height. If you don't like the placement of them. And you can place these just about anywhere as long as there's a good reason for them. The fifth tip I would like to show you today involves sticks. So if you go on the inventory, go all the way right down here to a clip of stick as I just did. If you look down at the ground, if you ha if you see this option where it's a circle, press right click and it will bring up two little sticks. If you press left click it will snap the stick in half and ask you to do it again and then you can create a fire. You will also bring out the lighter and you can light the fire. I was struggling figuring out how to do this when I first played uh, because I'm sure a lot of people were. It is also shown in the basic version of the the journal, I should say. And the sixth trick today is to build your camp near a water source. This is mainly because there are no definitive ways of actually creating something that can carry water, like the water skin or the turtle shells, from the original forest. And because of this, it is sometimes very easy to run low on water and die of dehydration. Now, most water sources in the game, apart from the open sea, you can just walk up here. Boop. And most of the time, you'll give you the option to hold E and just drink the water. And most of the time, I've never had it once, you will be fine. You will not catch any diseases of any kind. You will be completely okay alright guys that is it for now I hope you found this video somewhat useful if you would like more tips and tricks videos let me know and I will put some out in the coming future although I'm sure there's many of the people who put them out sooner and I will see you on the next one peace out